everybody and welcome back to another Transformers video. For today's re-review, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Dark of the Moon Leader Class Jetwing Optimus Prime. And just a warning, there's going to be so much gushing in this video as to be quite honest with you guys, this was a dream product for me. Had this come out way back in 2011, my tiny mind literally would have exploded. I remember being in the movie theatre and Transformers 3 was actually the first film that I ever saw on the big screen and the trailer converting for the first time. I think Prime was battling against the Driller and Shockwave in Chernobyl and the way it flipped open and then converted into this circular ring full of weapons for Prime to use, bang, my mind absolutely exploded and don't even get me started later on in the movie where he actually had the jetpack and took down the Driller. I think those are two scenes which are permanently imprinted in my brain. I don't think Optimus had ever been cooler than in that film. Now before we get started with the video, it is worth bearing in mind that I have actually custom painted the trailer just as in my opinion, the normal base grey plastic didn't look the great and I've also installed the DNA Design Kit, which in addition to the buzzworthy Bumblebee Jetwing reissue, is also getting a reissue by DNA Design. So for those of you looking to pre-order it, definitely be sure to check out the links down in the description box below. Now we're just going to get stuck straight into it. So first of all, here we have Jetwing Dark of the Moon Optimus with the jetpack and the DNA Design Cannons, and this thing already looks like an absolute beast. I think this has got to be my favourite Optimus design hands down of all time. He just looked so freaking awesome, especially with that six pack i mean wow this guy looks killer you can see we get these massive cannons which in my opinion were such a big upgrade when in comparison to kind of the hollowed out versions that we got from hasbro and i can actually give you guys a comparison so here were the ones we got from hasbro of course they are not actually metallic silver i have custom them but check out how hollow they were on the underside definitely not the greatest looking whereas dna design essentially added an additional hinge joint to theirs which just concealed the arm really making it look like the cannon had transformed out of prime's forearm and the jetpack my goodness me this thing is an absolute beast i think michael bay got the inspiration for jetwing prime from jet powered prime you know the form that he takes on towards the end of the transformers 2 movie so definitely glad to see it in Transformers 3 and it's kind of a shame that the trailer and that whole jetpack motif didn't carry over to Transformers 4 and 5 but you can see there the thruster detailing the red and blue highlights that we have here for the jetpack considering that this is kind of a third party upgrade kit I think that looks excellent and not to mention that the jetpack itself looks insane for those of you who are actually looking to pick up that buzzworthy bumblebee reissue or maybe you even own the original version and don't have the upgrade kit I couldn't recommend it enough I think it's one of the best upgrades that DNA Design have ever put out. It just looks so insane. Now, as we actually take a look here at the annular ring itself, I have wanted one of these for so many years. Originally, they came out with kind of that Ultima Optimus Prime, which at the time, when I was 10, it was absolutely mind-blowing. But as the years have gone on, yeah, he kind of looked like a fairy or a big moth. He just had these really crazy wings, which, to be honest, weren't the greatest. And we never actually got a trailer which could convert into something which looked like this. And as you guys can see with the DNA Design Kit, we not only get two blades, which look sick, but we get two Energon Axes, which kind of look like the Batman insignia, as well as two Knuckle Dusters for those of you who want to recreate that scene where Prime essentially takes a massive chunk out of the side of Shockwave. I was totally hacked off when he killed Shockwave, but in the same sense, it was such an awesome scene to see Prime just slay so many Decepticons. But yeah, as you guys can see, I have fully painted it, and I would recommend to you guys to do the same. It was very easy to do. I got a cheap can of silver spray paint and just sprayed the areas which were dark grey, and I think overall, it turned out for the most part pretty nicely. Definitely a lot better in my opinion when in comparison to just the dark grey plastic. So that that is basically the annular ring really awesome and the dna design kit also gives you the capability of having two wheels rolling i think on the regular hasbro version it's just the back one that rolls and this one is fixed but with the upgrade kit both of them can roll pretty freely so there is jetwing optimus prime i guess it's time to recreate some scenes I'm coming for you! And then when he was blasting away at the driller and he kind of made a hole in the middle of him and then flew through that hole and then sliced him in half. Oh my goodness me. Prime was an absolute badass in Transformers 3. Just such a sick character and all. I'd say the only thing that this set and kind of the DNA design kit was missing would be that massive shotgun that he had to kind of wipe out that Decepticon protoform ship. We will kill them all. So it would have been cool to have seen either company gave us that, but... 
Nevertheless, what we have here, I personally think, looks so cool. Now, as we take a look at a few size comparisons, here we have Jetwing Prime alongside the Dark of the Moon Shockwave. Such a sick setup. I mean, these guys look great with each other, and it wasn't until we actually got the Studio Series versions that I appreciated how much bigger Shockwave was when in comparison to Prime. So it's a shame that he didn't put up more of a fight in the movie, but I guess, as the old saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, and that was definitely the case for Shockwave. Here he is alongside the Dark of the Moon Megatron. Besides, who would you be without me, Prime? Time to find out. And then finally, here we have him alongside the studio series The Fallen. Give me your face. <laughs> So that is pretty much the Jetwing Optimus Prime in robot mode along with the trailer. A sick pair, but believe me, it's about to get even cooler when we get into the truck and trailer mode. So we're going to do something a little more spicy for the conversion, just as I'm almost certain you guys have seen me transform this mold back and forth many times. So transform and roll out. And here we have Dark of the Moon Optimus fully transformed up into the truck and the trailer mode. And like I said previously, I don't think Optimus, at least as far as the live action movies goes, looked any better than in Transformers 3. And it's such a shame that the trailer actually got scrapped after this movie. But as you guys can see, I did fully coat basically the side of the trailer in a nice metallic silver. And yes, I know a few areas do have to have a slight redo due to this being the transformation hinge joint. Sadly, it's slightly scuffed up. But I definitely think in all, looking a lot better than just the basic grey. And to be honest, it's not a bad trailer considering what it has to transform into and very quickly going over the Optimus it is the SS32 mold with some very nice orange fading here at the front but it's a decent truck it's just a shame that they didn't extend the smokestacks as overall I think that possibly could have made this near enough perfect and here for a very quick kind of snapshot comparison we have Dark of the Moon Optimus alongside Dark of the Moon Bumblebee and it's gonna get a little emotional guys but this is literally my childhood in a nutshell these are the characters that I grew up up with and it's kind of crazy had you shown me me actually reviewing these in 2022 back when I was 10 in 2011 my goodness me I would have said that you were absolutely crazy so big thanks to you guys for watching this video and 
I mean, it's just so awesome that we're actually getting live action movie figures from those Bay films still after a decade since the movie hit the big screen. And wrapping up on this re-review for the Transformers Studio series Dark of the Moon, Jetwing Optimus Prime with the DNA design upgrade kit. Overall, as a complete package, I think this is absolutely excellent. And even just as a standalone release, definitely one of the best Optimus Primes I think we ever saw for the Studio series. Just the base figure is excellent, but then you combine that with the trailer and the awesomeness of Dark of the Moon with that Jetwing pack, and literally it's a chef's kiss. It is my ideal version of Prime, and I think Hasbro for the most part did a pretty good job in executing it. Of course, if you can pick up that DNA design kit, I would recommend to do so. I really do think it makes this the complete package. It just gives him better weapons, a better jetpack, and overall a better kind of annular ring configuration. And for that, I will include a link down in the description box below. But a really cool figure, and it's awesome that Hasbro are finally reissuing it. I can only hope that they can listen to the fan demand again and reissue Jetfire, as I would love to get a second opportunity in picking that guy up. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this retrospective look back, and until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.